Hey guys! Hey, one of the big ideas that we're going to tackle this year is the concept of linear relationships. Okay, so we're going to start off the year by talking about what linear relationships are and what does this word linear mean. Well, if you look closely at it, you'll probably see the word line. Right? That's because line, linear, is an adjective that refers to something that is a straight line. And make sure that you fill that in on the top of your notes page. Okay, so linear is an adjective. It refers to a straight line. Okay. Um, what is relationship? Well, just like in real life, the re concept of relationship seems really simple, but once you try to define it, it is actually pretty complex. Uh, for right now, we're going to define relationship as an association between two quantities. Again, you'll want to make sure that you write that down in your notes, and certainly pause the video if you need to. But a relationship is just going to be a connection between two things, um, a relationship between two different values or two different quantities. Again, that will be easier to understand when we show it. It's easier to show than it is to explain. So just write that down for now, and I'll show you an example of that in just a few minutes. Okay, so if linear refers to a straight line and a relationship is just an association between two quantities, then a linear relationship is an association between two values or two quantities that when graphed results in a straight line. So we have two things, they are related, we're going to make a graph of them, and if that graph is a straight line, then we can say that the relationship is linear. Okay, let's take a look at that. Let's look at an example that might hit close to home for you. In the, this particular school cafeteria, a slice of pizza costs $2. Okay, so here we have two different quantities. All right, we've got two related quantities. One is the number of slices of pizza that you buy. So we'll just call that X. Okay, the other quantity is the amount of money that you have to pay for your pizza. All right, the number of dollars that you pay. So we'll call that Y. All right, so X is the number of slices of pizza and Y is the, the dollar amount that you have to pay. Now we can show this relationship by setting up a table of values, right? If I buy zero pieces of pizza, then the cost is zero dollars, right? When X is zero, then Y is also zero. Zero slices, zero dollars. What if I buy one slice? If I buy one slice of pizza, then I will owe two dollars. Okay, so when x is one, then y is two. If I buy two slices of pizza, then I will uh, end up paying four dollars for that. And three slices of pizza is six dollars, and we can go on and on, but instead let's just write this as an equation. Let's say that the amount of money that I owe, or y, is the number of pieces of pizza that I buy, the number of slices, times 2. All right, so y is 2 times the x value. Okay, another way that I can express this relationship is by graphing it on the coordinate plane. Okay, said that when I have zero pieces of pizza, I owe zero dollars, so I can come over here to the point zero zero. See how this creates an ordered pair when x is zero, y is zero. So that's our origin, right? x and y are both zero right there, and I can plot that point. Right? Now if I buy one slice of pizza, then I'll owe two dollars, so when x is one, y is 2, remember we first go over and then up, when x is 1, y is 2, so I can plot a point here. Now when x is 2, y is 4, that is when I order 2 slices of pizza and my total is $4, so I can plot a point there, and when x is 3, y is 6, so we'll plot a point at 3, 6, 3 pieces of pizza, $6. Now, I can go ahead and draw a line here just to show that this relationship continues, right? I could extend the line, for example, to figure out how much I, it would cost if I order 21 slices of pizza. Um, and when we take a look at that graph, what we get is a straight line. See how that's a nice straight line? So we could call this relationship a linear relationship. Again, we had two related values. We had our number of slices of pizza, which we called x, and our number of dollars, which we called y. We 
uh, created a table of values, we wrote an equation, and then we graphed it and found that that relationship does result in a straight line, so it is linear. Okay, now our standard here says that we're going to contrast bivariate sets of data that suggest a linear relationship with bivariate sets of data that do not suggest a linear relationship from a graphical representation. So as usual with our standards that sounds really fancy and like probably like a lot of mumbo jumbo to you, we're going to break it down. Okay, and we want to take a look at what this, what this word bivariate means. Okay. It's a lot simpler than it sounds. What does bivariate mean? Well, if you take a look at the word, you might see this word bi, meaning two, like bicycle, and variate, um, which refers to the word variable. Okay, so a bivariate data set is just a data set that contains two variables, just like in our previous example, bivariate, two variables. And in our previous example, the pizza example, we had two variables. We had an X and a Y, right? We had the number of slices and the total dollars, the cost in dollars. Those were our two related quantities or our two variables. And what is a variable? Well, a variable is just a symbol. It represents quantities that we don't know or quantities that can change. Okay, can you want to make sure that with all of these vocabulary words that you have those written down in your notes. Again, pause the video if you need to, to get that copied down. So that fancy word bivariate just means that there are two variables. Okay, and again, our goal is to be able to look at a graph the, uh, of a relationship that has two variables and either call it linear or nonlinear. So we saw in our last example what a linear relationship looks like. Let's take a look at a nonlinear relationship. Okay, another way to express a relationship is to give some ordered pairs. Okay, so here I have a bivariate data set. Again, that just means that there are two variables and it contains these points. All right. Now, remember that these points, these ordered pairs, um, are giving us uh, an x value and a y value. We have two variables here. This is bivariate. Okay, so here's our when x, it, uh, it's going to give us an x value, and based on that x value, we'll also have a y value to go along with it. So here's our coordinate plane. And our data set here says that when x is negative 2, y is 4. So remember, first we go over and then we go up. When x is negative 2, y is 4. So there's the point 2, 4. Let's plot it. All right. It also says that when x is negative 1, y is positive 1. So I'm going to go over here and say when x is negative 1, y is positive 1. And I'm going to plot a point there. Okay, again, I hope you're finding on your notes that you have a place to follow along and do this on, on your paper. All right, now when x is 0, y is 0. So I'm going to go to the point 0, 0. I'm going to go right here to the origin and, and plot a point there. All right, when x is positive 1, y is positive 1. So there's my next point. And finally, it says when x is 2, y is 4. So when x is 2, y is 4. Four, and I'll plot a point there. All right, now if I connect all of these dots, I end up with this curve here. We actually call this a parabola, and you'll be seeing plenty of these going forward. Uh, for now, all you need to know is that it is not a straight line. This is not a linear relationship. Okay, this is what we would call nonlinear. Okay, so if it doesn't create a straight line, it is nonlinear, and this line is not straight, it is curved, therefore this relationship is a nonlinear relationship. Okay, so just to recap, remember our goal today is to be able to look at a graph and say whether it's linear or nonlinear. And here's the two examples we've seen so far. We have a linear relationship here, linear just meaning that it creates a straight line. And we have a nonlinear relationship. And nonlinear relationships are not straight lines. They can come in all kinds of different, uh, they can have all kinds of different looks to them. And we're going to see plenty of examples of what nonlinear relationships can look like. But really, all you need to know is that it's anything other than a straight line. 
Okay, so let's take a look at some examples that I've collected on the, just with a little web search. Um, turn your paper over and you should have this graphic on the back. Is this linear or is it non-linear? Well, is this a straight line? That's really all that we're looking at, okay? I'm not asking you to interpret the graph or make sense of what it's trying to communicate. I just want you to be able to see wh uh, whether it's linear or nonlinear, and hopefully you see that we have these curves going on here. This line is not straight, and so we're going to classify it as a nonlinear relationship. Go ahead and write that down on the line underneath your, your graph on your paper. Let's look at another one. All right. Again, we're not worried about interpreting the graph or figuring out what it means. We just want you to look here and say, is this linear or nonlinear? That looks like a pretty straight line to me. Okay, that line, this is linear relationship. All right. Let's look at the next example. All right. What do you think? Looks pretty straight to me. Okay, now I want to point out that in linear relationships, again, we're just looking at the, the presentation of the line. We don't care which way it's going. Okay, so this one has a negative slope. It's going down in the opposite direction, but it's still a straight line, and therefore it is still a linear relationship that's being shown here. How about this one? All right, there's a curve here, kind of looks like, a, like an S. That is a nonlinear relationship not a straight line. See how easy this is? How about this one? Again, what I want you to focus on here is the line itself and not these points that appear to be off the line. Just look at the line that is linear. Okay, that line's straight. Okay. Here we have a non-linear relationship. It, there's a curve to it. Okay, so non-linear. So again, when a graph has a, shows a straight line, we can say that it's displaying a linear relationship. And when the line is anything other than straight, uh, it's nonlinear. Right? So um, again, our standard says that you are to contrast bivariate sets of data that suggest a linear relationship with bivariate sets of data that do not suggest a linear relationship from looking at a graph. So can you do that? Can you look at a graph and tell whether it's linear or nonlinear? Because right, that's what our standard says that we need to be able to do. So what I'd like for you to do at this point is uh, down at the bottom of your notes, you have three examples um, under the check your understanding section. I'd like for you to look at those three examples and independently decide whether or not they are or whether they are linear or nonlinear and just write that down on the line underneath each graph. Okay, so you have three to do on your own. And then also be sure that you take the quiz. It's up on the right-hand side of your Sophia screen, and that's how you're going to get credit for participating in this video today. All right, and then make sure that your notes come back to class with you. All right, put them in your, in your notebook, in your binder, and be ready to come into class and talk about linear relationships. Thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you in class.